This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson two, hands-on sides and angles of triangles. We're gonna go straight down to the work, straight down to the practice, because we are going to follow some of these instructions and some we are skipping today. So this part, measure the sides of each triangle to the nearest tenth. Yes, we are doing that, and describe the number of congruent sides. You don't need to describe them, just tell how many congruent sides there are. So you'll need your ruler, your centimeter ruler, and you'll measure. So I'm starting here, and I go to the end uh, where this point is, and it looks like I'm at about 2.4, or two centimeters and four millimeters, or we can say that as 2.4 centimeters. You'll measure the other sides as well. Then after you measure the sides, you need to count how many congruent sides there are. And remember, congruent sides are the same length, are the same length. So you'll just write down the number. Then you'll go to, do, to this one and do the very same thing. Measure the sides of the triangle, write them down, and then write how many congruent sides there are. All right, let's look at the back. This one says to measure the angles. We are not going to measure the angles we're just going to tell if it's acute, right, or obtuse angles. Now, here's how we can know. What I like to do is write the letter L. Okay, the letter L is a right angle. It's 90 degrees. It has a straight, it, like a corner of a page. If the angle is smaller than an L, meaning it looks like this, okay, that does not look like an L, it's smaller, then it's an acute angle. This one isn't a right angle. If it's larger than an L, okay, here's the L, and the angle's larger than the L, or wider that way, then we say it's an obtuse angle. So what you're going to do is just write down, you're gonna describe what each angle is here. Now when I look at an angle, if I can't tell if it's an L or not, Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this as like a backwards L. Well, if I was making a backwards L here, I'd have a straight line. So you can see this is smaller than a right angle, so this is acute. I'm gonna turn my triangle this way. I'll start here and make the letter L. Oh, and you can see this is smaller than the L, so this is also acute. And I'll turn, and I'll make another L here, and you can see that this is also smaller than the L, so this is acute. So it just, and that's all that you need to do on three and four. So go ahead and do the same thing on four, right? If it's acute, right, or obtuse angle. All right, let's look down at number five. Measure the sides of the triangle shown. How many sides of the triangle are congruent? Okay, we did this on the front, basically. We measure the side of, uh, of the triangle. This one is four centimeters. You'll measure these other two, and then write down how many sides are congruent. And remember, congruent means that they're the same length. Okay, refer to this same triangle. This time you're gonna measure the angles of the triangle shown. We're not going to measure but you are gonna tell how many angles of the triangle are congruent. So you're gonna to need to look at it like, and you know how I do it, I make an L, so I'm gonna make an L here. And I can see that this is smaller. I can see that this is an acute angle. Now, let's look at this one here. I'm gonna make an L. Oh, this is an obtuse angle. And I'll make an L here. This one is an acute angle. So I have two acute angles, so I need to determine if these two acute angles are the same size. Well, to me, it looks like the L is almost cut in half. So I would say that these two are congruent. So there are two angles that are congruent. Okay. In billiards, a rack is used to organize billiard balls at the beginning of the game. Jason is making the wood rack and found that each angle is congruent and that the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. What is the measure of each angle? Well, I'm gonna count how many angles there are. 
I have one, two, three, three angles. And when I add them up, it equals 180. So I could say like angle one plus angle two plus angle three, oops, equals 180. Okay, and I don't know what those numbers are. They have to be equal. Another way to do that would, take, would be to take 180 and divide by three, since there are three corners. Okay, and moving on to number eight. Measure each angle of the triangle. How many acute angles does the triangle have? We're not going to measure. You're just going to determine if each angle is, you're going to see how many are acute and write them down. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me at school tomorrow.